okay, well, how is there? Okay, you know, everything how, you're saying there, right example, now about infinite there? regresses, I also think about God. So that isn't getting us right. anywhere. Well, yeah, well, but that's what I'm saying. Let's say that we applied that uh, the, that to God. Well, you're left with you're left with infinite regress, which I'm assuming would be absurd. Every uh, so is any, God. Any, any so level, where are you I going with this? I'm trying to I'm trying to ask basically in your wildest imagination, like if you could think of any um, ultimate origin or whatever, if you just kept going back in time, so to speak, would it be? And I'm not trying to. Uh, do special pleading or try to say, oh, well, if it's more probable to believe in God, well, we should just believe in God. I'm not trying to argue that, but I'm just saying for the sake of argument here, um, would it be which one is more, uh, well, I'll say which one is less ridiculous, I'll put it that way, a being who is uncaused and eternal or us why do you why do you just apparently yeah. have a problem with something infinite but then in the same breath say that you don't think it's ridiculous because at all for god to be the infinite difference, because the, because there's a difference between comparing god with the universe the universe what? we know is not infinite infinite regress we know no, that our specific at least as far as our specific part of the universe that we know we don't know what else is outside the universe it could be another universe for all we know as far as the entire universe itself would necessarily include everything that exists. That no, because that, like, there's two meanings of the term universe. When we talk about the universe that began with the Big Bang, we're not talking about the universe in the mathematical sense of like the universe of all numbers or something, the set of everything. Right. The, I mean, you're, you're conflating the two and they used the same words. But, well, me, but the thing me, is, we don't like actually up. know that the universe is all-encompassing. As far as space and time are concerned, as far as the farthest knowledge we've gotten so far is that space and time started at some point. This universe of space and time. Which we have zero evidence of any other universe in existence. Nor do we have universe. any evidence of a god, so we're stuck. The, well, I'm not talking about... Yeah, I'm just talking very far. So, I'm so, doing a lot of talking. You want to take over for a minute? <laughs> No, no. Let's... All right, Jen's okay, so, enjoying so listening. As far as basically, what, basically what I'm saying is that right now our current level of knowledge is essentially uh, that space and time itself, at least in this universe, I'll, I'll grant that at least, even though there's zero evidence for any other universe, but in this universe, at least space and time had to be getting. Well, if I were to just... I said that's complete, one possibility. If I, if I were to, if I were to <laughs> presuppose, let's say, that God didn't exist, if I were to just to just smash that up, any sort of deity, any sort of ultimate being. In other words, anything that is uncaused and eternally backwards in time, forward, backward, just eternally existent, oh, no. caused thing. Getting <laughs> um, monster I committed to, suicide. Uh, if, I, if, I were to, if I were to just presuppose that that did not exist or can't exist or whatever, and I were to try to think of any sort of explanation, ultimate explanation, in other words, for the universe, let's say there was another, here, here's what I'm saying basically. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking my call. <laughs> okay, yes. thanks for calling. See you guys. Hi. All right. Cause these flying spaghetti monster to commit yeah. suicide, but <laughs> <laughs> poor spaghetti monster. Uh